Look in my eyes, all you see is a troubled child from birth. I'm cursed, bearing pain until my body's in the hearse. All Busting right, the I'm cops, coming. aggravated, the system yeah. is fabricated. The district attorney can kiss my yeah. ass, damn right I made it. I do it for my ladies and babies who fail. Victim to the system, a murder, motherfucker. I'm about to ride, I'm melanated, they say I'm crazy. Right, Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4. I'm back at y'all again. I'm coming to y'all today to talk about thoughts. Um, this will be part two of thoughts. What is a thought and where does thoughts come from? Thoughts does not resonate in your mind first. A thought is a manifestation of who you are. This is, this is why you have to watch what you say. Because anytime you distribute any type of negative frequencies, you have to understand that that will reincarnate in another dimension. And this is what you will become. So therefore, we have to watch what we say at all times. We have to even watch how we think. Because when we are giving birth to ourselves, this is where it first starts. It starts as a thought. We are the foundation of every dimension. Dimensions cannot exist without our subconscious. Okay? Our subconscious is the projector which projects everything that we are looking at right now. When we breathe in air, the molecules of the air is the slides that's going into the projector which allows us to see the illusion that's occurring around us right now. See, the air that we breathe in is not just some type of stuff that gives the lungs enough um, energy or frequency to make the heart beat. The air is slides, it's information. Oxygen is information. Hydrogen is information. Your thoughts cannot exist without hydrogen particles. It cannot exist without oxygen molecules. Why? Because this is the transgression. These are female components. Why? Because it produces. Oxygen elements produce other oxygen components. So therefore, this is a female. Anything that we look at, anything that we experience, even your thought is female. Why? Because a thought produces another thought. Because it's energy. We learned that in thermodynamics, but that energy produces other energy, whether it's higher energy or lower energy. Another shape or another form of energy or a stagnated energy. It doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, everything that you see is a form of a thought. When you look at the sun, you are looking at a form of your thoughts that's existing outside of yourself, but really inside of yourself. Why? Because you have antennas inside of you by way of photosynthesis that is receiving the information from that big bright ball of fire that you think exists as being some light entity. When it's not, it's dark matter. And the type of dark matter it is, is dark energy, which is the type of melanin that we hold in our biochemical structure. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, when we are looking at everything or experiencing everything, we are experiencing ourselves. I don't care if it's negative or positive. Every emotion that we even experience, even in the physicality, the emotion is who we are. So therefore, when they are placing you on a fear frequency, what they are doing is they are, they are making you exist inside of the matrix. This is how they keep you here. They have to create a, a fear tactic within your subconscious. Again, your subconscious is what produces everything around you as far as you being projected from another realm. Again, you don't exist here. You're not really seeing me. You are not really hearing me. You are really feeling me. Because when you feel on another level, what you are doing is you are utilizing every single one of your senses all at once. People ask, how do you get to the fifth dimension? You're there right now. It's just that you're blocked. You're blocked. You exist in the fifth dimension. You are right now, you are controlling yourself from the fifth dimension. You are controlling a holographic image of yourself being projected from another dimension. This is why I tell you when you go to sleep into your dream, your dream world is the closest thing that you will get to your reality. It's the dream world. A dream is a form of a thought that's been existing for a long time. The highest thought component that you can ever intercept into your subconscious is the sun. Why? Because it distributes everything as far as the shifts. Every time there's an eclipse. An eclipse is the changing of a DNA of a certain species or a people who has a certain type of melanin in their physiology, which is so-called black people. This is why I tell, matter of fact, I'm going to tell all black women, whenever there's a full moon, be careful. I want y'all to look at this. Every time there's a full moon, go into your emergency rooms. Go into your pediatric centers. There's a lot of children under nine that's there. Why is that? Because every time there's a full moon, any child that's under nine that's melanated, their DNA is shifting, meaning that the melanin is becoming more potent, especially the children today. And so therefore, what they do is, all of the Similac that you give them, all of the Infamil, all this formula you give up, be careful. You get what I'm saying? 